Today, we are going to show you the top 5 dishes to try on your next trip to Rome. Stay put if you can, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share the channel. Click on that notification button to receive updates on our most recent uploads as well. Without further ado, let's get rolling! Yummy! Let's start with… Carbonara True Roman carbonara is a work of art. It's one of those meals that you daydream about. Rule number one. It will never be served with bacon or pancetta in Rome. Guanciale will be present instead. Guanciale is a part of the cheek of the pork, less fat and more tasty compared to regular bacon. Rule number two. Raw eggs, pecorino romano, parmigiano reggiano, and pepper are the only other ingredients. No heavy cream here, not even a drop. The secret is to emulsify the egg yolks without causing them to shatter and add some drops of cooking water to the mix to have a smooth sauce. The carbonara was unknown to the Romans until the 1950s. According to legend, the dish may have been inspired by the bacon and eggs that American soldiers were given to eat during World War II. Or did it originate with coal workers who ate eggy pasta? The origin of this dish is much disputed, and we will never know the truth. Where can you get a wonderful carbonara? Some of the popular restaurants include Enzo al 29, Roscioli, and Flavio al Vela Vevodetto. Number 2. Amatriciana The sauce of Amatriciana is made from cured pork, tomatoes, pecorino cheese, and pepper. Flavor is the key to a perfect amatriciana sauce. The tomato sauce and the onions give to the slightly caramelized pork fat a sweet acidic kick. You can eat this amazing recipe with mesa manica, a smaller variant of rigatoni. But the traditional pasta is the bucatino, a fat spaghetto with a tiny hole inside. The Amatriciana was created in fields that surrounded the Lazio town of Amatrice a millennium ago. While working far from home, shepherds would bring cheese and chunks of guanciale into the meadows, and they used to prepare the fresh pasta outdoors, combining all the ingredients to create a delicious feast to keep them fed during those long days. For the best experience, make sure to try this dish in Soralella, Santo Palato, or in Armando al Pantheon. Number 3. Cacio e Pepe Similar to many Roman recipes, Cacio e Pepe, or cheese and pepper, is a straightforward dish that produces excellent results with high-quality ingredients. It is made by combining some pasta water with black pepper, parmesan, and pecorino cheese to make a creamy sauce. An experienced chef who can make sure the sauce comes out creamy rather than clumpy is the secret to making cacio e pepe. The recipe for cacio e pepe was created centuries ago. It was a staple food for shepherds who spent months outside tending to their herds. You can find this delicacy in many restaurants around Rome. The most popular ones include Felice al Testaccio, Da Danilo, and Roscioli. Let's continue our journey deep into the modern Roman foods with Carciofi alla Giudia. Carciofi alla Giudia, Jewish style fried artichokes, a dish made from this flavorful thistle, is on the must try list of every foodie traveler. Artichokes are available year round at markets and served in restaurants due to demand from both visitors and locals. Visit Rome during the winter months when it is in season to sample the renowned native globe artichoke, or carciofo romanesco. In addition to the well-known fried dish, you can get a variant called carciofi alla romana, artichokes cooked in oil and herbs on nearly every menu around the city. According to popular belief, artichokes are a domesticated form of the Mediterranean vegetable cardoon. The modern Italian artichoke appears to have originated in Sicily. They most likely originated there and spread throughout the rest of Italy during the early medieval Arab occupation of that island. Carciofi alla Giudia are commonly served in Gigetto al Portico, Nonnovetta, and Armando al Pantheon. 
And now, last but not least, Supli. Hungry between your sightseeing? The king of Roman street food is what you are looking for. Supli is a tomato sauce, meat, and mozzarella-filled deep-fried rice ball. This delicious bomb appeared on the map around 1847, at the Trattoria della Lepre. Rome will require you to walk a lot, so these tiny goodies will be useful when you are starving at 4 p.m. Pop in and grab one for a cheap and delicious snack. Where do you get it? Locals enjoy this dish in the following restaurants. Trapizzino, Pizzarium, and Food Box. Are you wondering what is our bonus food for this very Italian video? We left out a dish truly Roman and very tasty, despite being only a variant of carbonara. We are talking, of course, about the griccia. Griccia is a carbonara without eggs, or a cacio e pepe with guanciale, or an amatriciana without the tomato sauce. As you can see, the most famous pastas in Rome are all part of the very same family. Funny, isn't it? We have been looking at the best Roman dishes that you could have in your next Italian trip. Have you ever tried them? Leave a comment on other dishes that are worth a try while in Rome. And don't forget to check out our 48 hours trip plan to get the most out of your Roman holiday. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you loved it, subscribe. And don't forget to click that little bell. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care, ciao!